So, you've implemented sign-in with Google technology in your Android app, and you're already seeing the benefits. There's greater user satisfaction, there's easier security infrastructure, and there's less danger from hackers. Great, you think, I'm set, I'm good to go. But wait, what about my user data that I keep on my servers? How do I ensure that users with Google sign-in storing data with me are still secure? Well, relax, you don't need to pull your hair out, and you don't need to be that guy. I'm Lawrence Moroni, and in this video, I'll show you just how easy it is for you to secure your servers too. First, let's take a look at what happens when users sign into your app, but then need to provide identity to your backend server. Consider this scenario, you've built an app that delivers food to them at their location. They sign into your app, and your app gets their email address as their identity, but you store their address and order preferences in a database on your server. Now, unless your endpoint is protected with an auth mechanism, attackers could potentially access your user database by guessing the email addresses of your users. And that's not hard. This isn't just a bad user experience. It's a risk that customer data can be stolen and misused. Now, you can mitigate this by getting a token from Google when they sign into your app, and then passing this token to your server instead. Your server would then validate the token, and that it really did come from your app, really is for the desired user, and really is a genuine Google token. Your server can rest assured that it really is your user making the call, and not a nefarious middleman. In the case of a fake token then being passed to the server, when your server sends it to Google, it will be rejected as counterfeit, and your user data is safe. So, what are steps for doing this? Well, first of all, your Android app can get a token after signing in with Google. And there's a great sample that demonstrates that here. It uses the request token method when calling the Google sign in objects object. And once it has the token, it can post it over HTTPS to your server, which will then try to validate it. Token verification is available in the API client libraries for Java, PHP, Python, and Node.js. Here's what the server-side Java code might look like to verify your token. And it's really as simple as that. That's it for this DevBite. Stay tuned to the Android Developers channel on YouTube for more, including how you can write all the code to achieve this kind of sign-in and allowing you to secure your servers. I'm Lawrence Moroni, and you're going to go build better apps.